Boom, what's up everybody? Happy New Year. I apologize for not having posted the last couple of weeks, but I had family in town from Norway and I just didn't have the time. But today we're gonna to be taking a look at a few of my favorite keyboard shortcuts and Affinity Photo um, shortcuts. Uh, it's not gonna be a long video, so let's just get to it and start the New Year off right. Okay, so here we are inside of Affinity Photo again and the first settings we're going to go over uh, is you go up here to Affinity Photo, click on it, go back to Preferences, Color. So you want to always keep the biggest color palette you can and keep it for as long as you can throughout your projects. So RGB color profile, Profoto RGB, 32-bit, you want to keep that at RGB as well. The rest here you can leave as is if you want to. Uh, you want to make sure you have enabled EDR by default here on 32-bit RGB views. Then we're going to go back. We're going to go over here to performance. You want to allocate as much RAM as you can to Affinity Photo. And you can set up your disk warning and undo limits. I recommend having your undo limits pretty high. File recovery intervals should be at least every 300 seconds. Make sure you use uh, your uh, GPU if you have it gonna go back here user interface pretty cool thing so if you are doing color work this can help you reduce color bleeds and uh, mix up colors by adjusting this slider you can change your artboard background we're gonna go in here to tools and here you want to make sure you have used the shift key modifier to cycle between tools so that's pretty much the settings so if we go here now and I wanted to use uh, the brush tool, I will go out here, click on it, and uh, we'll uh, use it here. And then if I wanted to use, for example, the color repla replacement brush tool, I would have to go over there, click and hold, and go there, and then paint again. But what you can do instead is hold down shift and press B, and you cycle through the uh, options you have under that tool. So if you took J, which is the uh, in-painting brush tool, you can go spot healing and so on by just holding down shift and pressing J. I'm going to delete that layer. So that's, uh, that's how you can change shift between the different underlying tools here. Now we're going to press C, go to the crop tool, and here we got the rule of thirds. Up here you can see we have golden spiral and we have diagonals. So you can go up here and change in between them, but what you want to do is press O when you're on the crop tool and you will shift between them. So when you have your golden spiral, you can hold down shift and O, and you can change where you want the leading lines to go so you know how to crop your image. And then press O again and you get back to it. And that is pretty much what we were going to cover today. That's the most useful uh, tips for settings and uh, sh keyboard shortcuts to speed up your workflow and your uh, productivity.